today we are at Kibex and Soul Drink at the Coex in Korea. We're going to take a look at some craft beers, some draft beers, and international beers as well, and also other drinks too. So come on, let's go. Next, I believe we are going to Buddha Jin. Hello. <laughs> Oh, you were waiting for me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can you introduce your company to me? Yes. Hi, my name is Tom. Um, I'm the CEO of Bujajin Distillery Company in South Korea. Uh, we are unique not because we are the first handcraft gin distiller from South Korea, but we're using only the locally grown organic botanicals to create Korean gin. Our brand name, uh, Buja has two meanings in South Korean. One, if you refer to someone who's really wealthy and rich, you say that person is Buja in Korean. But our actual core meaning of Buja means father and son. So I'm the son, I run the distillery. Whereas my father, who's been running organic botanical farm in the region for the last 25 years. Yeah, so actually I read about you a little bit on the internet. <laughs> and um, I read that your father picks the, picks the, what do you call it? The, he forages. Yeah. the product from start and then you do the distillery so did how we operate together as a father and son um, as, a, as a team um, basically uh, you know because I run the distillery I tell him this is the kind of flavor that I want our gin to um, to go in our in, in terms of flavor then because he has all the expertise in terms of all the botanicals then he just suggests me which botanical to use then I take some samples bring it back to the distillery, try some, and make sure if it tastes okay, it tastes good, and this is what I intended, then, it, then we go to mass production. That's amazing teamwork. Yeah. Yeah, wow. What is your most popular product? I would say most popular product um, is our Chansori. This was launched about last month. Chansori. How did you come up with that name? <sighs> Chansori, you know the chansori, the meaning of chansori means uh, nagging, right? Yes. So since our, since we set up this business with a father and son base, so my mom starts nagging. Oh. Right? So she was like, yeah, yeah. She, was doing, she was doing that. So I said, you know what? I'm going to dedicate a gene just for you. That's why I named chansori. But you know, chan, although chansori has like a lot of nagging words, but yes. then in my, when I was growing up, the her nagging wasn't actually has more deeper meaning to it's that, like right? Yeah, it's more comfort. Um, so we, I put like Korean chili inside to because there was a bit of a smacking, Spice, yeah, 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 a bit of a, a smacking as well. But there was a lot of comfort on the basil. There's a like, cherry sage, also juniper berry, of course, and um, on the, the basil as well. Wow, that's yeah. That's amazing. You put a lot of thought into yeah. your drinks. Um, so do you have a goal at the exhibition today? I mean, I want to introduce our product because we are the first handcraft gin, of course, uh, to introduce the people that, because who doesn't know our brand. But, you know, since uh, our, we launched our very first handcraft gin back in 2020, um, it's been four years. And then up until now, we have about 12 different kinds of gin produced oh. in South Korea. Yeah. I was actually going to ask you what kind of gin you have. So you have over here, I was reading online again, like I said, um, you had a lot of different flavors. Yeah. So uh, how we operate is that we have um, both uh, seasonal seasonal gins and then gins that is available throughout the year. And then we have a limited edition, which means we only produce once in a lifetime. Oh, so is, is it for like... Um, a special event or yes. like a special month or a holiday? Um, yes, yeah, so like to, to give you an example, we have uh, this one 2023 distiller's cut. Um, this was produced, we produced about 250, yeah, we produced about 250 bottles and this is it, this is the last one. So oh, that's the last no, I mean, one. The last oh. one is like we produced only once and then once we sold out, you will never see this product ever again. And what, what flavor is that? This one, um, it's, it's called the, um, I'm using, I express the trifoliate orange. Because the trifoliate orange, like Tengja, Tengja is quite unique, uh, that grows from South Korea. Uh, we used to have a lot that grows in South Korea in the southern side. But then um, now, the, the lot of people, the young people do not know what Tengja is. Ah. So I want to kind of bring it back and then um, try to 
uh, bring back the flavor into gin. Okay. Are you looking to export to other countries? We're already exporting. Oh, really? Yeah. Where are you exporting export to right to now? We're exporting to Singapore, Austra uh, Australia, Hong Kong, and Germany. Oh, are there any new places that you want to export to? Anywhere. Anywhere. Um, yeah. Everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, you have uh, some of the notes that you have yeah, so in this? Just to, Sorry. Yeah. So like the Korean juniper. So I would say, you know, gin, if you want to produce a gin, uh, the juniper is a must. But unlike uh, European uh, junipers that is available in other gins, we are, you, because we, since we, our, our product is a South Korean product, we are using Kore uh, Korean juniper. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Thank you so much no for problem. introducing your product to me today. No um, we're doing a uh, event that I will come back to you with information on in a bit. Okay, <laughs> so sure. I'll talk to you about that later. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. And I hope you have a good day. And thank I'll you. see you see you later. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Much, yeah.